enter into Our Lady's Immaculate Heart. It is a safe place. That is a spiritual secret the Holy Spirit once taught me. People ask me all the time, especially at events like this, Father, pray for me. Father, pray for my children. Father, pray for my husband. Father, pray for my pastor. And that's a very serious request. I've always taken it seriously. And people might think, oh, he doesn't really do it. How could he do it? I've had thousands of people ask me for prayers over the years. I take it seriously. I'm going to tell you a secret how I do it. I don't waste a single one. You say to me, Father, pray for me. I immediately make an intention. I place you, your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, your pastor, I place you, simple act of the will, in the immaculate heart of Mary. That is a safe place. I may forget ten years later, but Our Lady doesn't forget a thing. I place you in the immaculate heart of Mary. It's like a garden. It's the mystical garden of God. You know what a garden is? A garden is a place where optimal conditions for life exist. Carmel is a word that means garden of God in Hebrew. Karemel, God's garden. Very lush place, Mount Carmel in the Holy Land. Good garden. I'm going to give you now a gardening lecture to close. <laughs> in a good garden, and I'm talking about Our Lady's Immaculate Heart as the garden of God. That's where I'm placing all of you. You've got good soil. Do you know the word humus? That, that's rich soil, you know, very uh, organic, good, rich soil, humus. Uh, that is from the same Latin root as humility, right? The rich soil in the garden of the Immaculate Heart of Mary is humility. She's the humble handmaid of the Lord. Jesus himself told us what the seed is. The seed is the Word of God. You need water for a good garden? What's the water? You remember what happened at Meribah? I told you how Moses struck the rock with the wooden staff and the water flowed out. The rock is Christ struck with the wood of the cross, gives forth the life-giving waters of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the spouse of the Blessed Mother. The waters that water her immaculate heart, her, that garden of God, the Holy Spirit. You need oxygen. You've got to cultivate the land, turn it over, break up the soil. Why do you do that? To oxygenate it. You need oxygen. No oxygen, no life. Do you know what the word in Hebrew for Holy Spirit is? Ruach HaKodesh, breath of God, the oxygen of God, is the Holy Spirit. And so, once again, that's the very air that we breathe in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And you need sunlight for a garden. No sunlight, no photosynthesis. No photosynthesis, no green plants can grow, no life. Jesus is the Son. The Son of God, the Son of Mary, the Son of Justice that shines brightly in His Mother's heart. The Immaculate Heart of Mary, mystical garden of God. I place each one of you and all your loved ones in the Immaculate Heart of Mary, now and for all eternity. God bless you.